same cut, different From his twisted relationship with his overbearing mother, played by Judy Dench. That'll be delivered on Friday. Thank you, mother. To his awkward attempt at a romance with Naomi Watts' character, Helen Gandy. I know we've only known each other a brief time. Leonardo DiCaprio uses everything he's got to play J. Edgar Hoover, the iron fist at the FBI for 50 years, who may or may not have been gay. You pulled away from me in there. Hoover's personal secrets and hunger for power led him to create secret files on everyone from the president to Martin Luther King. Hard to believe, but this intense biopic was shot in just 45 days. I actually enjoyed the pace in which we work because it really keeps you on your toes and you know, Clint's philosophy is trust your own instincts. At 81, Clint Eastwood doesn't waste time. I've played golf just enough to know that I'm going to have my limitations on it, so I'm just, uh, I would rather uh, continue on. Eastwood's name was enough to convince Army Hammer to take the role of Clyde Tolson, Hoover's constant companion and number two at the FBI. I just didn't understand the complexities of their relationship. It wasn't very clear to me at first. Naomi Watts didn't understand her character either. Helen Gandy stayed on as Hoover's secretary even beyond his death. Did she love him or her job? Clint felt that it was more about the, her sense of duty. Some say DiCaprio's portrayal is Oscar worthy. You understand? Telling the story of a powerful man who held everyone's secrets, including his own. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Hollywood.